Okay, hello, this is our first lesson. Um, we're gonna be talking, we're gonna start the unit with series and sequences, and the first unit is sequences. So the aim is sequences. And I'm gonna get a new black pen because this one is dry. So the question is, we're gonna be talking about patterns, terms, and generating sequences. So what is it, let's define sequence. So I want you to copy these notes down into your notebook, and I want you to pretend that I'm standing right in front of you. This is on. Yeah, and uh, slow with the video down. If you have to, speed it up, but it's fine. A sequence is a list of ordered elements. Now in this class, we're talking about numbers. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's a sequence, but you know, the kids in the class, that's a sequence. But in this class, we're talking about numbers. So the elements are numbers. And each number is called a term. A term. So if I give you the sequence 3, 7, 11, and 15, um, how would we describe 3? We'd say 3 is the first term. And we would say that 7 is the second term. Okay. So, but the, defini the, the definition talks about order. Right? Order elements. So the question is, where is the order here? Where is the order in 3, 7, 11, 15? Where is the order? Right, that's the question. Um, what is the order? And you say, oh, it goes up by 4. Increases by four, positive four each time. Well, we don't need the positive, that's redundant. It increases by four, so I could say, you know, you have the first, the second, the third, the fourth. I could say, um, what is the fifth term? And you would say, anyone? Oh, you uh, have yeah, 15 plus four, it's 19. You know, what's the sixth term? You say, okay, just go up another four. So 19 plus four is 23. Good. Um, and then I would like you to um, figure these out. So I'm gonna give you some sequences and I want you to write down the next two terms. So the first sequence is five, 10, 15, 20. Find the next two terms. Um, 2, 4, 8, 16, find the next two terms. Um, 30, 3, 30, 27, 24, find the next two terms. I want you, how about 256, 128, 64, and 32, find the next two terms. And then I want, how about this one? One, four, nine, 16, 25. Find the next two terms. So pause the video or, you know, yeah, uh, freeze the video, write these down, figure it out, and then uh, we'll come back in a second. Okay, we're back. So the question is, what is, what are the, the first thing I wanna know is, what is the order here? What's the order? So let's use a different color. Let's use blue, right? So what's the order in the first sequence? You say, you said, oh, is plus five. So 20, 25, 30. What about the next one? What was the order in the next, the second sequence? You would say, times two, it multiplied by two each time. 
in this class, we're going to be studying adding or subtracting, multiplying or dividing. Um, there's other types of sequences we'll see, but we're not uh, concerned with that in this class. So you, next one's 32, 64. Um, what about the third sequence? Oh, you see it's minus three. It's decreasing by three each time. Okay, so we continue the sequence. 21, 18. What's going on? Cut that out of the video. We're going to cut that out. Okay, so what do you think for the fourth sequence? Okay, so you're not really sure. You think it's being divided by a half. Now, in the previous examples, you said, you know what? We said, you know, well, you think it's, a half, it's going down by two. So maybe you'll do like 128 divided by 256. You get a half. Okay, um, 64 divided by 128. That's also a half. Um, 32 divided by 64 is also a half. So maybe you keep like multiplying by a half or div multiplying by a half or dividing by two. It's, it's the same thing. You know, so you maybe like you divide by two. Oh, 16 and eight. Um, and then what's going on here? Is, is this or you, you might say, well, there's no order, you know, in, you know, go from one to four, I add three, five, seven, up, you know, that might be the order. You might say, well, this is, some of you might say this is plus three, this is plus five, this is plus seven, this is plus nine, so the next one is plus 11, and the next one is plus 13, 49. Anyone notice anything else? Another type of order? And then you might say, you know what, I do recognize order. This is one squared, this is two squared, that's three squared, four squared, five squared, then this would be six squared, whoops, and this would be seven squared. So it, as long as it has order, we have a sequence. Okay, let's move on. general terms of a sequence. So we're going to use u of 1, sorry, wrong pen. We're going to use u of 1 to represent the first term. Okay. We're going to use u little 2 to represent the second term. We're going to use the notation u of n to represent the nth term. And so when I ask you, what do you think comes after the u of n term? What comes after the u of whoops, the u of n term? Any suggestions? Well, the answer is u of n plus 1. If the term is u6, the next term is u7, u6 plus 1, that's it. Okay, um, well, let's talk about these formulas, these, these sequences, and we want to start to use this notation to represent those sequences. So the first type of sequence is a recursive formula. And the recurs recursive formula is just a fancy way of showing you how to get to the next term. So let's say, is a fancy way of showing you how to get to get term. 
So what was going on in the first sequence? We saw that you added five to get to the next term. To get from u n to u of n plus one, you add five. So first example, u of n plus one is equal to the u of n plus five. If the red marker works, I'll write, oh, you know, the green works. So right here, yeah, u of n plus one equals u of n plus five. That's it, it's just the change. What's going on in the second example? What's going on in the second example? Well, you said, Mr. Adler, we're multiplying by two each time. So, how do we get to the next term? You simply multiply the previous term. That's it. Um, the third example, how do we get to the next term? We subtract three. U of n plus one equals the u of n minus three. And then the last term, to get to the next term, we simply multiply by a half. We, we generally don't write like division symbol anymore. So instead of dividing, we're not gonna be dividing by two, we're gonna be multiplying by a half. We're just getting fancy, like that's, we're getting fancy. So this is a recursive formula. It simply is, how do I get to the next term? Now, the next form, the next thing is, the next type of formula is called the explicit formula. Now, why, why let's see, explicit formula. So the question is, why, why do I need another formula? Because if we look at that first example, like, if we look at the first example, like 5, 10, 15, 20, and I ask a student in the class, what's the fifth of the sixth term? You'd say, okay, Mr. Adler, it's no big deal. Just add five on, add five more, 25. Add another five, you know, to get to 30. But what if I asked you, like, you of like 79, 78? Well, you don't want to like add 78 times. So, or how do you like 70, you don't usually not want to add five, 74 more times. You need a faster method. I'm gonna get right to the 78th term. So the explicit formula takes me, so what are, what's my definition? Explicit formula, it basically tells you how to get directly to the nth term. And that's much more convenient for us because once again, that's great that I, I can keep adding fives, but I'm not adding fives like 78 times. I might ask you, you of like 312. You're not adding five 312 times. So the question is, what does an explicit formula look like? So it would look something like this. An example is u of n equals five n plus three. So now I can, sorry, now I can say to you, you know, what's the first term? Find the first term. And you'd say, okay, no big deal. U of one is equal to five times one plus three or eight. I could say, well, I can ask you for the second term. And you say, once again, no big deal. The second term is five times two plus three, which is 13. I could ask for the third term. You say, hey, Mr. Rather, no big deal. Five times three plus three is, what is it, 18? You might say, oh, you know what, look, that's, I see, plus five, plus five, now I can say, you know, uh, find the 10th term. 
well, you don't have to, you know, you, you see what's going on here. We're starting at three. This should remind you of the y-intercept and going up by five. That's the slope. We're talking about numbers and stuff. You might say, okay, you know what? Five, 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 five. Nah. We know have the formula. Stick in the ten. So u of ten is five times ten plus three, fifty-three. Now I can ask you, what's u of seventy-two? What's the seventy-second term? U of 72 is 5 times 72 plus 3. Well, you know what? I said we can use the calculator in this class. Where's my, where's my phone? The, oh, right there. Hey, Siri. Well, it's not going to. You can use your calculator. Use your calculator. So 5 times 72 is, uh, what is it? 363. Um, in the notes, in the, for the homework, um, I'm going to ask you to do some problems. You might see the formula in brackets, like they might write it as 4n plus 3. This is the explicit formula. And so they might say, generate the first four sequen uh, terms of the sequence, and you would simply say, okay, the first term is 4 times 1 plus 3 is 7. The second term is 4 times 2 times 3, 11. <coughs> Excuse me. The third term is 4 times 3 plus 3, 15. And the fourth term is 4 times 4 plus 3, or 19. So, I've uploaded a book to the internet. You're going to do for homework. You're going to do everything in 5a, 5b, um, and you can skip 2b. <coughs> Thank you.